we're seeing a light of day that is unknown to us. I haven't gotten up this early in many years. Not to us. Uh, like, oh. To us. <laughs> I was like, to you. No. no. Um, good morning, you guys. It's 5.29 in the morning. We're on our way to the beach to go see the sunset. Sunrise. Sunrise. And I decided that because we're already going to be there at the beach, I'm going to take a run. I haven't run in many, many years. And I was once the type of person that talked very negatively about running because it's just not my favorite type of sport or movement. But right now we're at a time where literally we're very limited to what we can do as far as exercise. So I decided that I'm gonna take a run. Um, Marimar is here. She's, oh sorry Marimar, te agarré un momento muy. You got me when I jumped up there. I know. <laughs> And then my sister's driving. Hello. And then Cena's here. So I never even ran with Cena, you guys. And she's like very poorly uh, leash trained. But we're gonna see because she's definitely faster than I am. Like she's probably gonna be like, girl, like you need to keep it up. But anyway, I downloaded the Nike training run app or whatever. And that's the one I used to use. Oh my God, I think I used to run when I was like 20. One twenty-two before like I really started getting deep into like lifting weights and then of course I ran a little bit when I was in CrossFit but um, I'm not expecting my mile time to be like super fast or anything like that but the whole point of this was to go see the sunrise but I was like well I'm not I rather just like try and get some type of exercise out of it oh my god girl I haven't done anything for like the past two months like I probably worked out like three times throughout this whole quarantine like with weights but so hard I hate it here I think when like my best mile time ever was like eight minutes but that's because when I used to play volleyball in college and we used to have open gym on Thursdays Tammy my coach she would be like you guys have to run you guys have to run a mile before we start and then if you don't get it under eight minutes you're not playing today like you're not you don't get to yeah you don't get to be a part of the open gym and then that was like when uh, people from other gyms would come and play with us too. So, I, oh my God, like bish. I was like literally finishing it at 7.59. But that was way back in the day when I was in really good shape and definitely not in that shape anymore and definitely not, don't have that kind of motivation. Let's go. All right, you guys. So I thought there was gonna be a sidewalk that I can run alongside in the street, I mean, the beach, but there isn't. So I'm gonna go back to the street. The girls already went to the beach and they took Cena, which is good because I feel like, oh, show, show. Oh, it's, a bunny. it's good because I wasn't gonna, I didn't wanna have to be worrying about her cause she's not trained to like run or whatever. So I'm gonna try to run. I'm gonna stretch right here. The beach is like super empty. Cause obviously like, the beach is closed. Well, the beach is open for like physical activity, but um, it's not open for people to just come and hang out. So I'm just gonna run through the street. This is like rich people streets. So we'll see where we can go. All right, girl. Oh my gosh, I just finished my mile. From here to the pier, it was half a mile. And then I ran it back. Can you guys guess what my mile time was? Okay, my mile time was 12 minutes and 23 seconds. Oh my God. <sighs> Felt really good to run, you guys. A mile goes by a lot faster than normal, but something I could tell you is like running in the morning is definitely easier because <sighs> it's definitely easier because the air is still fresh, so it's not like super hot yet. You know, but 1223 was my mile time. That's pretty okay considering like I was never a runner and I've always hated long distance running. Ah, it feels good though. It feels good to move. It feels good to have a good workout. What I'm gonna do right now is here in this little patch of grass, I'm probably gonna, well, I could even go with the girls. I just don't know where they're at. Like, I don't know if they walked. I don't know if they're just sitting there. But yes, 1223. Y'all running in this rich people neighborhood. Uy, no, nadie te molesta, nadie te chifla, nadie te dice nada. 
<sighs> okay, I'm gonna go find the girls. Okay, guys, we just got back from the beach. Oh my gosh. I made the mile under 13 minutes at 12.23, like I told you guys earlier. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I, okay, so I gave myself like 15 minutes. I was like, okay, 15, ya te estás pasando. Not saying that if you do it over 15, it's like bad or anything like that, but just for myself, you know? But we got back, and then the girls are going to go get some um, burritos from a place that specializes in burritos. I have never been there before. But apparently their chat is really good. So they're going to go pick it up. And then they're going to bring it back because we obviously can't eat there. But before that, Denny actually gave me these flowers probably like a week ago. As you can tell, some of them are already like dying and stuff. But they're so pretty. And then, that's not even the best part. Look at this bouquet he gave me, you guys. It's a heart-shaped box. Look, I really wish I could keep it forever. They're so pretty. He gave it to me the other day just because and I need to get ready so I can take a picture with them. But, okay, it's about like 6.30, about to be 7 right now. I figure that I should work before like the tiredness hits my body, you know, because I'm going to definitely take a nap today, bitch. Like, I am taking a nap today, but also, don't worry. I know what you came for and you're gonna get it. But I want to show you guys my little working station. Shout out to you if you order anything from Apalaca Jewel. This is what it looks like when I'm working. I already have a box full of orders that I did last night and we need to do all of these more. So I'm gonna get to working right now. Get us on money, man. You good? <laughs> I woke up like this. La 711? Yeah. Oh, 711. Okay, so we're gonna do these orders and then you guys are gonna go with the burritos. Yes. Okay, burritos. Yes, please, horchata, por favor. Because y'all hyped it up. They're saying that this horchata is the best horchata del mundo, que es como horchata de México. And I'm like, girl, y'all hyping this up. Y'all hyping this up. <laughs> okay, so let me get to working and then burrito time. Hi guys, welcome back. So today's the next day as you can tell. You guys, I was really gonna focus on talking to you guys yesterday after my run, but I couldn't because I got so busy trying to finish the orders for Apalaca Jewel. I was literally working all day, you guys. Like I literally got ready just to get ready enough for Folongis, you know? But then I was working, 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 working. So I really truly didn't have time to do the waxing yesterday. But today, girl, Today, I haven't put any makeup on. I literally just woke up a little bit ago. I did do my skincare routine though, so that's probably gonna get ripped off of my face. <laughs> this morning I woke up, but it's like a good kind of sore, you know? Like, my legs are a little bit sore if I move them, and my core is a little bit sore, but it's nothing that I can handle. I so hate, you guys. When I go to the gym and I'm sore to the point when I can't move, like I know like a lot of people love being sore, and they're like, if I don't feel sore, I don't feel accomplished. But to me, girl, I've been working out for many, many years and being sore is just not something I'm into. So the fact that I'm just a little bit kind of sore from my workout is just like 
perfect to me. I'm like, okay, good. I got a great workout, but I can still move and I can still move my body today, you know? Another quick side note, thank you so much. If you put an order for a Palaka Jewel, we're working our booty offs, literally. I worked all day yesterday and then Amy worked an extra three hours. We ran out of labels, like shipping labels. So I ordered some of, I ordered some on Amazon. We have like probably like 55 orders left. Trust me when I tell you, you're gonna get your stuff soon, girl. You're gonna get your stuff soon. But let's finally do what you came for on this video for. <laughs> and that is my Mexican supper. I thought I was gonna be making a video about this or exposing myself in this way, but it's just so funny because, okay, so I thought I was slick and I tried to just like shave them off and I was like, no, no one's ever gonna notice. Like, I'm just that good. But girl, it's impossible to shave off this much hair and then like literally stop here and then like have like full heads of hair. I think the thing about sideburns is that they're they're like obviously not cut in any way. They're just like natural the way that they are. So when I shave them off, whether because it's I'm putting a wig on or because I just, I'm trying to be slick. My boyfriend hates it, you guys. Danny always tells me, he's like, why are you shaving your hair off? Like, it looks worse. It looks like you're wearing a wig now, like when your natural hair's there. It's like if you try to shave off all your baby hairs. And I'm just like, baby, like, I just don't like my Mexican sideburns. Like, I think they look so... Ugly. In all honesty, I never used to have a problem with them. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I didn't even know that they were, like, ugly or whatever. And I'm not saying if you have them, they're ugly. But when I was younger, one of my friends told me, Pareces Vicente Fernandez. And ever since, girl, I've been traumada AF. So I've been looking for a cure on how to get rid of these Mexican sideburns. Now, I know they're not obviously Mexican sideburns. Like, a lot of people have them. But I'm Mexican, and I see a lot of Mexican girls that are really hairy. So it just comes in our genes. I don't know what it is. I don't I don't know, girl. I don't know. But basically, that's the facial hair that I have. I got an wax once at a nail shop. And I love the fact that I didn't have the hair anymore because it looked really good. But I hated the fact, I don't know if it was a nail shop and they were just dirty, or I'm allergic to the wax, or I don't know what it is. Like, I'm not going to blame it on anybody. But when I got them waxed, she literally walks from here all the way up to here. And then I got like a little bit, like I got like a breakout here and here, but it wasn't like pimples like these ones they had to them. No, it was, you know, those like little tiny bumps, like little tiny pimple bumps. And it was just like all over to where the wax was. So I was like, am I allergic to it? Was the wax dirty? I don't understand. Like I know obviously when you go to a waxing shop, they're just dipping in and out of the same wax. I don't know waxing etiquette. If you guys wanna show me off in the comments and educate me, I would love to, you know? But I did get a bunch of those little bumps here, like, llenos de, like, you could tell it was like, my skin that I like that, you know? I don't think I'm allergic to the wax, but we're gonna try it out today. And if y'all see me breaking out, I'm gonna do this for you guys. And if you see me breaking out, just don't point it out. I'll point it out before you do. Okay, just no need to it. No need to do that. I told my patrons, Patreon gang, comment down below if you're here. I told my patrons, I showed them a picture of the waxing kit that I got. They said, make sure you stretch out your skin before because obviously you're pulling it. They said to go from the bottom to the top so that you're grabbing the hair as close to the follicle as possible. And then they said, that's about all they said. Like, they said a bunch of things. You know, they were like, be careful. Oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna get a waxing kit too. But. The tips that I remember. I got this Melissa at home waxing kit from Amazon Girl. It was $56. I got it because it had the best reviews. And yeah, I don't know. It wasn't sold out. So if you guys want to get it, you're more than welcome. It was $56. It was primed to me. So I got here really fast. You know how some things are primed, but they're taking forever to get here. This apparently was an essential to Amazon, which I could see why. But... Um, yeah, I got it and let me show you what it comes with. It comes with four packs of the waxing beads. It came with the actual waxing machine. So basically, I'm gonna put the little beads in there. I'm not gonna put a lot of them because it's just my sideburns. And then you heat it up and you have to let them melt. It came with the sticks. Now, something I wonder, because normally when I've gotten waxed before, they put the wax, but then, oh my God, I already feel it hurting. But then they put like a little piece of cloth and then they rip it. Like, is this the kind of wax where like you actually rip the wax off? I feel like I shouldn't be doing this on my face first, but I have hair nowhere else for me to do this. So we're going to get started. I'm going to set you guys up by my vanity over there. Girl, I'm nervous. All right, y'all. 
we are all set up. The wax is burning. I'm a little bit intimidated, to be honest. Okay, so something I do know, very long hair will just get in the way. I'm gonna trim the sideburns a little bit so that it's easier for the hair to grab on. We don't wanna cut. <gasps> this is the most embarrassing video I will ever post on my channel because give it one tap. What a, you know what? I'm done with myself, girl. Yeah, aparte I'm over here the fungus. No, 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 no. Okay. So the wax has burned. Let me get a little stick. Oh my God, I think it's ready. I know que en este canal siempre ando inventando cosas. I'm always doing the most. I'm always trying things on myself. But guess what? The shops aren't even open for me right now to go wax my sideburns with anyone else other than myself. And I thought it'd be fun because if this ends up working out, I could just keep waxing things. Like, not gonna say what, I could potentially keep waxing things, you know? Like, my underarms, definitely on my eyebrows because I'm not about to mess this eyebrows. But the only thing I don't like about waxing, I will be honest, is that you have to let things grow before you can fully get rid of the hair. Also, you guys, I totally didn't tell you. I cut my nails down. These are the nails of the latest nail video that I did. Girl, I had to cut them down because they were so long. I literally went from zero to a thousand. Like, I went from having no nails to having them this long. And I was like bumping them into everything. And after a while, I was like, you know what? I can't, like I cannot. I'm done bumping my nails into things. I cannot. So I decided to like cut them down a little bit, especially because this next week we're gonna be doing something different. The moment of truth has come. I think we're ready. I'm scared. I don't even know what the best angle is for me to do this. Okay, so it can be too hot, so. Oh my God, it's too hot. Oh my God, do I do it? Do I just do it? Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna start with this side, but I'm gonna fix you guys this way. Sorry if the lighting is bad. This is horrible lighting. I understand, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. <gasps> oh my God, I did it. What am I gonna do now? I have to rip it off now. Mm. Okay, so what? How do I grab it? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ready? Okay, I'm just gonna rip it. Ready? One, two, three. here we have wax stuck in our sideburn we're gonna keep going up should I I think I'm gonna have to cut it more I'm gonna have to cut it more because if the hair's long like that it's not it's not gonna work out <laughs> what am I doing why my sideburns are perfectly fine okay here we go <gasps> ah! one two three Slowest pool of my life. I mean, I definitely don't have a sideburn anymore. <laughs> oh my god, do you guys want to see this? I'm kind of grossed out by this. I don't know if I should show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, if you're grossed out with me easily, please don't watch this. I mean, if you want to unsubscribe after this, I totally understand, girl. No hard feelings. This is disgusting. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Ready? Mm. Oh, I can't, can't, can't. You can do this, come on. It is Guerrera, let's go. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> okay, one more time. One, two, three. Ah, ah. One, two, one, two, three. Ah! One, two, three. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. No, this one hurt. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh my God, this one was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. It's because I didn't grab the hairs really good at the root. This is disgusting though. Oh my God, you guys. This video is just gonna be called, oh my God, oh my God, because that's all I keep saying. Look. Oh, disgusting. Girl, I think the hardest thing about this is the fact that you have to self-inflict the pain, you know? When you will get waxed, they say, mira, pendejada, mira, aquí, mira, ya, ti, 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 pas. We're gonna see. This is what they look like now. Does it look weird, bitch? Does it look like I'm wearing a wig? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I feel weird. But I did it though. I feel like not having sideburns makes my ears look bigger. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let them rest. I'm gonna let the re the red like heal or whatever, and then I'm gonna do my makeup on. I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after, and then I'm gonna give you guys an honest review about this at home waxing kit to know if you should get one or if it's just like a flop. Okay, guys. So we're finally back in the car. I got ready. We're on our way to my doctor's appointment. Remember what I told you guys a couple of vlogs ago that I had my doctor's appointment, but they canceled it. I didn't want to make a whole vlog about it. So I'm just going to squeeze it into this vlog. I'm not as nervous as I was last week. I'm definitely more relaxed and more whew, have taken a deep breath in. But let me tell you about the earlier thing. So first of all, Danny's here. Hi. Hey. Hi, baby. Okay, baby, do you notice anything different about me? Yeah, your makeup. What about it? What's different about it? It's nice. Oh, thank you. But no, not my makeup. Anything else? You just said that, huh? Just to say something. Anything else? Yeah. On my face. And your lashes. No. <laughs> your eyebrows. No. Your nose. What about you? Just naming things. What? You give up? Uh huh, something about my hair. It's longer. No. <laughs> you really can't tell? That's good. You're wearing extensions. No, I'm not wearing extensions. I wish. Right. You want to tell you? Okay, I got rid of my sideburns. <laughs> no, yeah. I did. Last time, oh, you did it different than because last time you looked like. Got a haircut like me. <laughs> That's like I got a fade. Yeah. He said it looked like I got a haircut like him. I'm dead. You yeah, like? You remember? I yeah. Him, I was like, what the hell? I I told him that you were being mean to me. And you're like, it looks like you got a fade. And he said it looked like I was wearing a wig. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were, like you had a taper. <laughs> Qué vergüenza contigo, baby. Nice. Okay. Like, you guys, this is what it looks like when I have makeup on. I missed a couple hairs, to be honest. But I feel like it looks a lot softer. Oh, also, I tried this new blush that's like, it was like pasty and it left me patchy. But who cares? You can see it from far. Look at it quick. Anyway, so he... I got well, okay when he got to the house I wasn't wearing makeup and he couldn't tell because I at first when I shaved it when I shaved my sideburns the first thing you tell me why'd you shave your sideburns you look weird oh the first first time yeah yeah like every time I shave them you tell me like baby it looks like you got a haircut like don't do that because you go like all up here like literally like a haircut <laughs> like we no not even like we know all right bro stop roasting me we get it you don't like when I shave my sideburns <laughs> But, okay, so guess what I did to them? Oh, I know what you did. You put it down from the top. No, what do you mean? When you got hair from the top, you put it down to cover it. No, look. <laughs> oh, you did. What? You did shave it. I didn't shave it. <laughs> no, I didn't shave it. You, put, you got your hair from the top to cover it. No, because normally they're all the way down here. What you get? What you do? I wax them. I got a waxing machine nice. and I wax my Mexican sideburns. Can you wax my ass in? Yes, I actually can. <laughs> and we getting in the wasting time. <laughs> I don't think of <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> no, she's not kidding. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me so I can shave? So you can shave. You, you're not supposed to shave. You're supposed to leave the hairs long, you know, like you have. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's what you always like. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. Ah, just kidding. I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Anyway, you guys, that's not what this video is about. Uh, Stop talking, baby. Que vergüenza contigo. I waxed them. You guys, okay, you saw when I was doing it. How complicated is it? On a 1 to 10, it's not that hard. You just have to watch a couple videos. The kit was only like $55, so I think it's worth it, especially once you start waxing all of you, if that's what you're into. I don't know that I would wax like my lady parts because that just seems way more dangerous. I really like the results, and then we'll see how long it's gonna take to grow back. It'll probably be like three to four weeks. What I do know about waxing is the more you do it, the thinner the hair comes back, so. 
I would recommend it. That's gonna be it about the wax. Now, I'm gonna keep hanging out with you guys. Sorry, he has to look at the mirror. That's why I put you guys down. I'm gonna keep hanging out with you guys if you wanna keep kicking it on the vlog because I'm gonna talk to you guys after my, my doctor's appointment just to see, you know, just to talk to you guys about it. So if you're not caught up with it yet, I'm getting a colposcopy. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a more in-depth version of a pap smear if you haven't seen the vlog where i went to go to my doctor's appointment i kind of explained it more in depth right there so i'm not as nervous as i was last week last week i was a little more nervous but this time i don't know if it's because i've had time to process it or whatever but i just feel more like okay you know what it is what it is the when they call me to confirm my appointment they said that nobody can be in the room with me like not even my sister so i was like you know what like there's no point in my sister coming because you know at the end of the day she still has to do her things and denny was nice enough to come with me and drive me so that's what we're doing right now i took ibuprofen oh i need gas i took ibuprofen before we came here because they tell you to take some over-the-counter medication so it doesn't hurt when they actually do the procedure oh just thinking about it i'm a little bit nervous you know but it's gonna be fine check in with you guys after i'm not gonna take you guys down i'm just literally trying to go in there and get out as soon as possible like in and out you know so i'll see you guys after my appointment oh my god you guys i wish i would have been blogging vlogging three years ago when i first got a colposcopy done because my demeanor is a hundred percent different i feel so good after it don't get me wrong it was still uncomfortable but it didn't really hurt it was just more like nerve-wracking you know not good right, you guys night and day to be honest the biggest factor is that last time when i did it i went to planned parenthood so i had a doctor that i didn't know and I just was like uncomfortable and there was people there that I didn't know and like they were using it as a teaching moment when they hadn't asked me, you know? And this time I went to my regular doctor who I've been going to ever since I got insurance. And I don't know that I told you guys this on, I think I told you in the last vlog, but this doctor is actually the one that did my sister's surgery last year and then who's done my mom's surgery in the past. So he's like the family's doctor. I just feel so grateful for all your prayers and all your good vibes and all the positivity you guys sent my way, you guys, because I truly felt like a peace over my heart. Like I was really nervous, but I still felt calm. I don't know if you guys can relate to that or if you've ever felt that before, but I was more like, I need to do this. This needs to happen and it's gonna be okay. But I'm just proud of the fact I did it, girl. I swear to God, I'm just, very grateful to God that he took me through that because sin él no lo hubiera podido hacer. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you, baby, for coming with me. You're welcome. You're my rock and Thank my you for protector. Bring me with you. Thank you for driving me, baby. Thank you for driving me with you. <laughs> Thank. Thank you guys Thank for. You guys stop for coughing no, me. I'm trying to me guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you guys. Stop. Uh, Thank you guys for coming. You. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. What the heck? Stop. We're not one of those channels. This is my channel. Oh, shit. Just kidding. Thank you guys for watching and for being a part of today with me. I appreciate it with all my heart. I'm going to let you guys go. Que Dios los bendiga. See you guys in the next video. Bye.